As a boy in Singapore, you gotta do your thing. Okay, I actually forgot the lyrics of my own song. <laughs> I enjoy acting a lot. I enjoy the process. I enjoy the rehearsals, the script read. Uh, I enjoy being in character before the shoot, during the shoot, after the shoot. I think it's my uh, forte. Actually, when I was young, uh, I looked up to three actors. First was actually Arnold Schwarzenegger. He has a very inspiring stories, and uh, he did a few uh, roles which sort of stereotyped the action heroes of that era. So I thought he was the defining person. And the next person was actually Van Damme. Uh, you know, the guy who could do the splits. So he had a quite a tough story also. He was uh, in Hollywood and struggling for many years, and then he finally got his breakthrough. And then the last person is actually Bruce Lee. Because Bruce Lee uh, is actually the first Asian to be in a Hollywood movie. Uh, he revolutionized uh, martial arts in the world and uh, he's a legend, uh, basically he's a legend. So um, yeah, these th three people. I guess I was a good rebel. Maybe in Chinese they'll say, huai de hao ren. I'll study, basically I'll study. I'll get my uh, job done. I'll get my homeworks done. But deep inside, I was always uh, looking for an uh, avenue for, to express myself. Yeah, perhaps that's why I took up martial arts as a way to express myself. And uh, back then, during my school days, I was kind of bullied a lot, maybe due to this very uh, young look that I got. So, uh, but I never backed down during fights. Uh. So in a way, I sort of like got the respect of all the bullies and they became my friends. Yeah, and then I bullied them. I guess in A Boys to Men, there was this particular uh, scene that was really, really hard to do. I was supposed to be unconscious. And uh, I was underwater, that means I have to hold my breath. The moment I'm in the water, uh, I, I can't hear action. I, I need to hold my breath. And my mouth is full of uh, this artificial blood, which I need to spit out the moment I pull out. So, and the moment if I'm out of water, I need to favor camera while I'm unconscious. So it's a very, very tough uh, scene to shoot. And I remember getting a deep cut because, you know, in, when you're in the water, you are sort of like, you can't really control yourself. And because I'm being tied by a rope, and I actually got a few deep cuts, you know, when I hit the side of the ship and I, I was cut by the barnacles. So that was one of the toughest scenes in my career that I had to do. <laughs> I always got this advice to a lot of newcomers, be a glutton for rejection. Because I was rejected so many times in so many auditions. I can go for 20 auditions and now they will choose me. That kind of glutton. You need to crave for rejection because it just comes so easily. And in life, not every day you are successful. You have to fail more times before... Okay, you have to fail many, many times before you succeed. Prior to Our Boys to Men, I went for many feature films audition, and thankfully I was always the finalist. But not thankfully, I was always not chosen. Don't know why. But I guess everything fall in place at the right moment. Uh, I waited, I was patient, and I kept going on. I kept working hard. I kept believing. I got my break. Thank you for flying with Maxi. Bye-bye. <laughs>